Reporting from Malpi Studio, I'm Delmini De Silva. And I'm Aisha Dubayan. From the strike authorization to homecoming, we cover this weekend's events along with other university news here on WSRU TV. On Tuesday, October 18, teachers marched across campus to Old Main in an attempt to help the APSCUS negotiations. We bring it over to your field reporter, Matt Carlson, for Mo News. We are faculty united for quality education. We are faculty united for quality education. We are faculty united. We're here in the quad as faculty continues to protest Pashi as they try to get their contract negotiated. If the state and faculty negotiators are unable to come up with an agreement by 5 a.m. tomorrow morning, your faculty, this faculty, will be walking the picket lines at every single entrance to this campus. So what is your opinion on the current nature of the strike? The current nature of the strike? Well, um, I think it's quite warranted. Uh, I'm not, personally, I'm not for it, but I understand why they're doing it and I believe they should do it. They're getting kind of screwed over by this Chancellor Brogan and I think they have every right to strike and frankly I hope they do. Not for me, it would negatively affect me, but I stand for what's right with our professors and I really hope that they get a fair pay and they get the fair quality they want. Um, I'm definitely against it. I just got accepted to graduate school so that could affect me in the long run. So yeah, I'm not happy about it. I don't want to strike. My enthusiasm is about my passion. If you know me, you will know that to be true. It's about my passion for Slippery Rock, my passion for my students, my passion for my profession, and my passion to do what is right. Caring coaches and faculty can be your heroes. So why does Pashi vilify us? For the life of me, I don't know. SRU is making money. They will be profitable in 16, and I will bet they will be profitable in 17. Contract now! Contract now! Contract what do we want? Contract! What do we want? Now! I'm totally for the strike um, because, I mean, yeah, it uh, negatively affects me. Maybe it'll push my graduation date a couple back back but honestly I actually wouldn't care because I love SRU and our professors uh, deserve the best they deserve pay so full out go out and strike earn your pay earn whatever you need to do and uh, get what you deserve well, I think it's a hard situation for everybody involved and I just hope the state legislator works out a works out a deal I hope we can come to something before the strike happens your coaches and your faculty can be your heroes. Students, you are our inspiration. Please join my voice right now. Contract now! Contract now! Contract now! Contract now! This has been Matt Carlson reporting from the Quad. We will definitely keep you guys informed with any uh, new information regarding the strike and the contract. Uh, back to you guys in the studio. In other ASCOP related news, SRU's PR office has issued a list of guidelines for both parents and students in the event of a faculty strike. It's encouraged that during this time, students treat their schedules as they would any other academic school day. Services and facilities such as residence in dining halls, the health center, the ARC, campus police, the library, as well as the happy bus will continue to be open to the students. In an effort to provide and maintain open communication between students, parents, and the university, the PR office will be sending an email regarding their guidelines and procedures, as well as any updates on negotiations and collective bargaining. This weekend is homecoming for Slippery Rock University. There will be a pep rally, parade, dance, and a football game against Edinburgh University. A homecoming king and queen will be decided and announced at the event. Be prepared for mo traffic and parking difficulties during these various popular events. 
Stay tuned for full coverage of the events brought to you by WSRU-TV. This Friday, October 21st, from 7 to 9 p.m., the annual Homecoming Pep Rally will be held in the ARC. This event provides students with a chance to get to know their homecoming court. There will be speeches from the co coaches, performances from the dance team, marching band, as well as Slippery Rock's cheer squad. We are now going to turn it over to WSRU-TV News correspondent Morgan Koziar, who has more on an inspiring event that took place last Thursday, October 13th. Slippery Rock University students and faculty gathered at the Smith Student Center Ballroom on October 13th to share their stories at the Dear World event. Earlier in the day, students and faculty lined up in the Student Center to have personalized messages written on their bodies to have their portrait taken. Later that evening, a photo reveal took place in the ballroom where seven individuals shared their story behind their message. We had the opportunity to speak with some people about their experience. We're so much more similar than we are different, that we have a lot of the same needs and concerns, wishes and hopes. Uh, that I mess up and I make mistakes, that I don't deserve love, that it's not something that you earn, uh, that I'm not better than anyone. I wanted to go out into the world and, and give even more love, even more passionately, deeper than I ever had before. So that's what I wrote in my arms and that's my story. So Dear World is a portrait and storytelling project that started in New Orleans after Hurricane Katrina, where we ran around asking people to write love notes to the city. Everybody called me weird and I never really understood that because weird, all that means is that you're different from everybody else and I, I didn't understand why people use that as an insult. Reporting from the Smith Student Center Ballroom for WSRU TV News, I'm Morgan Koziar. We're going to take a short commercial break, but when we return, we'll have more news. <laughs> Monday, October 17th, the Slippery Rock Music Department held their yearly Music Major for a Day event in Swilp Music Hall. High school seniors who are interested in becoming music majors at Slippery Rock had the opportunity to shadow current majors throughout the afternoon. The Wind Ensemble performed a concert for all who attended. Students who stayed on campus got a chance to speak with marching band members and watch part of a rehearsal at the end of the day. This event provided an opportunity to help high school seniors narrow down their choices when deciding on a college and a potential major in music. In the following week, on Wednesday, October 26, Slippery Rock students are holding a candlelight vigil and march to raise awareness about campus sexual assaults in the event titled The Take Back the Night. WSRU TV correspondent Rebecca Martin We'll cover the story, so be sure to tune in back in. Have you seen chalking on the sidewalks of SRU's campus? President Norton has an important announcement regarding some of the recent chalkings that may be beneficial for you to know. We join our WSRU TV news correspondent, Morgan Koziar, for more. Morgan? Hello, everyone, and welcome to WSRU TV news. I'm Morgan Koziar. The current political climate has encouraged some SRU students to voice their opinions by chalking derogatory comments on the sidewalks of campus regarding the upcoming election. Slippery Rock University President Cheryl Norton released a statement on October 12th stating, in short, Regardless of what side of the political spectrum you're on, the purpose of communication should never be to offend or disrespect any members of our community. I would encourage each of us to consider how we can best support and value the dignity of everyone at SRU. While political differences and viewpoints exist in our nation, language intended to target a group of people is never appropriate at an inclusive campus such as ours. As a university, President Norton wants us all to strive to cultivate a respectful community. Reporting for WSRU-TV News, I'm Morgan Koziar. In 
honor of the spooky holiday approaching, WSRU TV will be conducting a special Halloween episode. From easy DIY snacks to hearing what you guys love about the season, we'll have it all. Be sure to check back in next week to catch the special feature. On October 19th, in the ballroom of the Student Center, from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m., the Safer Sex Olympics will be held. Be sure to check out this fun and interactive way to become more educated on safer sex products. Well, that's all we have for you this week. I am Domini De Silva. And I'm Aisha Aldebaran. Have a great week, Slippery Rock. Run pretty good.